darkness consumed the sky When the sun refused to rise And the oceans overflowed When all the children cried And the water drowned our hearts Our lives all fell apart It was the month without the show It was the month without the show It was the month without the show The people gathered round But there was not a single sound Because every Wednesday night There were no balls in sight And the only thing to watch Were reruns of family ties It was the month without the show It was the month without the show It was the month without the show OJ can't do it anymore. I have nothing left. Our foes have won. It's over. No, wait. Here, drink this. Ugh. It's thick and warm. Yes, yes it is. Swallow it all. Let its magic inside of you. They want elephants, but who's going to ride them? They want balls, who will provide them? The Rambos, you need a show tonight Who's gonna make sure everything's alright? OJ! It worked! What did you give me? Pulp. It'll be the year of We are the anomaly, the contradistinct, uncensored, unmonetizable, and deemed unwatchable by the mainstream masses. We are the ones they cannot control, and the ones they try to hold back. But together, we form Revolution, the Ramborgia, and this is the return of John Rambo Presents The Show. My name is John, and I am joined by... It'll be the year of, the year of, the year of the Pulp. Ladies and gentlemen, after many weeks, many cold nights alone without him, he's back by your side. Ladies and gentlemen, OJ is here. Hey, everybody. OJ, how are you, sir? I'm doing okay. And for once, it actually looks like my camera isn't doing a terrible job. It's a whole new year of possibilities. A year of yeah. working cameras and shows that aren't bad, possibly, yeah. potentially. No promises, yeah. right? Here you go. Yeah. OJ, you sure you want to do this now? This is the beginning of a whole new year of the show. And this goes out for everyone watching at home as well. Are you sure you want to put yourself through another whole year of this? This is the point to turn back, John. If you need to, you turn it off. Everyone at home, you can turn it off now. Because if you continue, you will be sucked in. The disease will infect you. And you will be here every Wednesday doing this with us. So, but you have two seconds to decide. Two seconds up, it's over. 
It's over. You made your choices. Those are here now. They're with us. And uh, we shall continue with them. Wow. Yes. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. We're so happy to see you again in this fine, fine year of 2014 where nothing could ever possibly go wrong and everything is sunshine and daisies. <laughs> Did you miss the show, Joe, while you were gone? It was quite some time. Yeah, it was, something it was like, crazy. It was something like uh, three months or something we've been gone, I think. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. Did you you miss the show? Yeah, I did. And I, I, although I just realized that I probably should have uh, yes. not worn this terrible undershirt for the show because the video is actually good enough that you can see <laughs> that this undershirt is terrible. He's like, I don't have to wear any kind of shirt because my camera's usually screwed up. You know what it could be? Your internet might be a lot better at your new home. It says so, but I actually have a that yellow three bar connection speed warning on Skype right now. Is that pot? Oh, okay. So, okay. It'll get worse. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Pretty soon you'll be able to take the shirt completely off because we'll just, it'll just be a blob of, of sprites. I? Like an 8-bit. And yet, yeah, whatever you want to do is fine. So people Chill. out there want to see that. So that's, that's okay. probably okay. Okay, um, I'm okay with that. A lot of people missed the show. I, I actually received it upwards, believe it or not, OJ, of three or four messages... Well, we were gone for people saying they missed the show. Aww. And that's quite a bit to, for me to read at once. So I'm kind of happy it wasn't more than that. <laughs> but uh, so a lot of people missed the show, and we missed you, and we're well, glad we're back together now. And we had some nice things happening. Um, let's start off with talking about the intro we, we had today. Yeah, okay. Let's start with that. That was wonderful, I thought. Dang it. I really, lo I really loved it quite a bit. Um, <laughs> I, wrote, I wrote the piece, and uh, OJ came down here. And I, I give him a pizza. What I give you a sandwich and a pizza. Give you a slice of pizza and a buffalo chicken sandwich with was it Swiss cheese? No, that was American cheese, sir. American cheese. That was Come good. Come on now. Oh, um, and um, you let me try some of the uh, the spicy oil. Spicy oil I gave him, and then we, we recorded the song, and that was a lot of fun, dude. That was I think it's like one of the best yeah. things we ever did. I was really proud of that. And, that was um, pretty sweet, yeah. And I re and uh, Mr. Kyle Charles from Madhead Productions on the YouTube, which is my favorite YouTube channel, as I've said many times. He did many of the, uh, all of the illustrations on that thing. Very nice. It took, took quite a bit of time. And I kept sending oh, him, definitely. I kept sending him tweets, and I kept saying, where the, where's the art? We need it right now. I will fire you, even though I don't pay you or employ you in any possible way or, or benefit you. But uh, it was really awesome, man. You have anything else to say about the intro there? It was pretty cute. And I was just thinking at the part with the goats, which goat's John and which goat is me? I just, you went in a whole other direction with that. There was the brown goat and the white goat. But if you enjoyed that song, it is now available for free download at the new, the new stayballsy.com. That's right, it's a brand new website. We're going to talk about that a little bit today coming up. We'll show you how to download that maybe if you, if you don't know. I'm sure you know. I don't know, maybe you don't. I'm not sure. If you don't know, now you are we got aware. so much to go through today, we got to start off. But the most important thing first, something's happening, a trend is happening out there that's a trend. alarming to me. It's alarming, John. There what seems happens? to be a rivalry brewing. It's actually, it's not, it's not brewing anymore. It was brewing last month, but now it's exploded. The, the folks at Duck Dynasty seem yeah. to be following the show, mirroring what we do, trying to take us down. Yeah, seriously, what the pants? First of all, we had our... Stay Ballsy, the show, Christmas Spectacular, on December the 11th. Duck Dynasty had their... They decided, let's do our Christmas special the same night. Head-to-head -head with the show. We did defeat them that night. It was close. We destroyed them in Christmas spirit. Oh. And good cheer. Most year. undoubtedly. But tonight... On tonight, the premiere of the show, they decided, let's have the Duck Dynasty premiere. We're going to head-to-head -to -head with the Duck Dynasty premiere tonight. Again. Once again. <clears throat> what do they have against us? We never did anything to them. But here's here's why I look at this, okay? If you're coming to an elephant battle, an elephant fight, you don't bring a duck, my friends. You bring another elephant. They're coming with ducks against elephants. Or two. And, and you do the math on that, my friends. Right? You need, like, a, yeah. a lot of ducks. So, uh... We're, we're happy you're here with us today, and uh, you're tuning out of the Doug Dynasty show, and we're watching the, our show instead. I'm sure we, we may defeat them. I don't know if there's actual fact, if there's um, official stat keeping tonight. Our stat keeper might not be around, um, but chances are we will destroy them once again, as we did last month. It will be an amazing battle. Right, and another we thing, will... our show only contains about 50% homophobia, 
whereas theirs is around 90%. So we have much better morals and values than they do. What is that? Yeah, I, think, I think we can pull it off this time. Okay, very nice. Very nice. Uh, next week's show, let's go right to that. That was fast. We got we got to talk about it. It's a big deal, okay? Because we're talking about how we're so much better than Duck Dynasty. Yeah. And this here proves it, all right? Oh, well, yeah. We this is the proof. This is, this is what I did here. This is a, a transition. Transition. Clever. Yes, you pull it. Pull it like this. So, in 2013, our biggest guest, our biggest show, um, our most, like, popular show. Does that mean it's the biggest? If it's the most popular, does that mean it's the worst? I don't know. I, I can't even tell anymore. I'm not sure what's going on. But our biggest show of 2013 yeah. featured this man as the guest. So I've decided, why don't we start off the new year by bringing him back. Next week on the show, Bowler Industries returns to the show. Mr. Angus Chang is back. And get this, get this. Mm-hmm. He's got a new app coming out. Okay. Which is a, um, it's a digital girlfriend. Is the app. <laughs> so okay. I, so what I propose to him is that we have you use it and uh, for like be like one of the first people to use this this app. And then you you kind of we should we do it live on the air. OJ with the digital girlfriend, the virtual girlfriend. Um, I'm not gonna have to like <laughs> strip for this, right? I don't know how these these virtual relationships work. Is that what you heard? I don't know. If whatever Ingus says, that's what will happen. I don't really know. I don't think you would have to strip. I assume you have sex with the virtual girlfriend, but not. You don't have to do that live on the air. Okay, just making sure. I can do it afterward. We already got banned from Twitch once. I don't know if we want to do that, you know, again. So soon. I'm sure maybe a couple weeks we'll get it. We'll do it again. Oh, my goodness. Right? Yeah. Okay. So. That should be fun. We went away for quite a, quite a while. I think it was like five weeks or four weeks or something. It was crazy town. Yeah, and during this time, what I wanted to do is, uh, you know, come back better than ever. Stronger. More agile. More telepathic. The stats. You ever see, like, the old Marvel trading cards have the stats on the back? Dude, my dad got me a whole set of them once. I have we to find to raise that the stats. We, we want to raise the stats. And, like, people say that kind of stuff. And I think we've said it in the past, but you don't really do it. It's just something you say. <laughs> but I think this time we actually did do it. So, I want to kind of go through some of the new things that we got going on here. Um, of course, the thing you're looking at right now, right? We got a whole new layout here on the show. Look at this thing. You like this, John? I'm trying to push the stick. It won't move. <laughs> I just turned off the art somehow. I don't even know how to control it. It's... Um, yeah. Okay, so this is like a uh, this is a this was made by Sturmgeist. Sturmgeist 13 and I kind of uh, masterminded this, and he designed the entire thing and built it. Um, I was looking at a lot of different like podcasts, a lot of video podcasts, and especially mm. ours too. And they're just very stagnant, right? They're very stagnant. You got your, got your stuff, you got your logos, and I'm like, what if you could have things that are, like move on it, like moving parts and things like that? And um, we're kind of like uh, space travelers. That's why I kind of think of us. So people ask me, mm-hmm. what, what's my profession when I'm walking around? I go space traveler. So the Ramborns is here. We're here. We're all here in this cockpit, and we can take this anywhere we want to go. You right? just wanted to be able to say cockpit on the air. <laughs> Possibly. Admit it. <clears throat> so look at this. Right now we're, we're kind of hovering above the clouds, in the clouds, right? But mm-hmm. uh, suddenly, <laughs> suddenly we're in deep space, John. Suddenly no in deep Yes, now we're in deep space. Oh. There's your friends and family there. They live there. Planet uh, Ojakistan. It's a planet now? It's a planet, yeah. So as you can see now we're back in the class and we could go anywhere we want to go with this thing. It's our it's our personal uh, craft. What do you think Macaroni about and that? cheese. What do you think about this, John? Where do I want to go? <laughs> Where You're do we go man. from here? You're crazy man. But no, there's amazing thoughts. I mean, we could go see Pluto. Oh, okay. <laughs> but everything's here. We got the uh, the art still going, and uh, we got the the arcade stick that controls something. I don't really know what it does. The eject button for OJ, maybe? Is that what that is? No, no, but I'm wondering what sort of fighting game has three buttons. Um, a w- one that we were creating. Mm-hmm. And I could take OJ, put him behind bars, as you see here. You know... <sighs> That's a good thing. If he's out of control, we could lock him behind the bars. So... What? You didn't like <sighs> that. You didn't like being behind the bars, did you? Didn't you like took that. us to the cloud, John. You took us to the cloud. We're in the cloud, yeah. Mm-hmm. 
pretty much. All your data's up here. We see all your naked pictures that you stored on the cloud. There's only one! It's not plural. So that was Mr. Uh, Mr. Sturmguys13. We thank him so much uh, for that. It's, one, it's a wonderful... You, it's a wonder, there's nothing like this out there. Okay? And it's kind of hard, because it's like... It's, we're, we're over Skype, and you have cameras, and you're, you're trying to show a lot of things. It's kind of hard to um, come up with something that's kind of creative uh, with that concept, but I think we kind of did something that's a little different. And hope you like it. People like it yeah. in the chat, John. Are you, are you keeping tabs on this? They love Looking it. At it. They're talking about Bob Saget's house and space balls. We could go there with this. It's fine. All right. And Kane does agree. The perv declared. All right. Next thing I want to talk about. Mm-hmm. Let's see your wrist, John. What do you got on there? Freckles. The other one, you lunatic. The Stay Ballsy wristbands. These come to us from the UK. This gentleman here, Mr. Damien Murray, he made these. Oh, he, yeah. made, he made quite a bit of them. Very nice of him. And he sent them to me, and he surprised me. I uh, went to the POJ box, which I can't remember the uh, the actual address of right now. It's uh, PO Box 2567, Danbury, Connecticut, 06813. But I went there, and I, yep. and I pulled out a, a thing, and it was, it was all these wristbands. This dude made them and sent them to us. He said, you can do whatever you want with them, and um, we have them. <laughs> yeah, these are pretty sweet. Do we know what we're doing with them yet, or do I don't think we do? We're doing I something. We're, going... yeah. we're probably going to do. We don't have it uh, set up yet. We're, we're setting up a new store. We're probably going to start. Uh, if you buy a shirt, you get the set, and we, we won't mm -hmm. raise the price at all. It'll be the twenty dollars uh, that's always been. While supplies last. Yeah, while well, supplies, you throw them in for free with the shirt. Is it free if it's with the shirt? I guess it's part of the deal. It's part of the bundle. Yeah, like you just order a shirt, we toss them in there. Yeah, so we'll have more uh, more about that in the future. Not right now, right? But um, mm. let's get to the, the to the, the crazy thing here. So we go on crazy. Break. Sorry, I had coffee today. I'm it's, trying to have energy. <laughs> so right, I'm thinking, okay, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, we're going on break. I'm gonna kind of chill out, right? I'm gonna kind of chill out. I'm gonna do Shnozmi and whole punch editing a little bit. We're not gonna do anything too nuts. I get a message. Mm. Shortly thereafter, uh, the last show, from a gentleman by the name of Serifix. Yeah. And he said, listen, you guys have a nice website, but I can do things for you. And I can do things for you for free. And I said, well, that's that's my language. That's just what I'm talking here. I don't have any cash. Yeah, right. <laughs> so he, he decided uh, to rebuild our, quickly rebuild our website. And I worked with him on this. We worked really... Uh, Quite extensively on it. Um, it worked really, really hard on this. I don't know if yeah. I can underscore how much they put into this. Yeah, I'm really, really proud of it. I'm very, very happy with it. It looks professional. It looks like it's something that's almost too good for us, honestly. So all I want to do is kind of show you this thing. And all the credit goes to him because I had no plans of doing anything with the site. you know. But he came forth. He came out of nowhere. And uh, we have a, a beautiful site now. So this is the front mm -hmm. page. I'm just going to kind of go through it quickly. What we'll probably do is we'll... You know, as, as there's a lot of shows coming. So we'll kind of break it down a little bit more in the future. But I just want to give you a quick overview if you haven't uh, found out about it yet. StayBallsy.com, of course. And um, these are all links to things. <laughs> this is a slider showing pictures. This is a blog section. Ram, Ram blog, John, is that now? Does that work? It works for me. That works for you? I might start doing these if people like them. I'll, I'll start writing different things. So I wrote something there. As OJ's eating some sort of a... Cough drop. Sorry. Was it a rice cake or something? Cough drop. You'll have the latest video that we put out here. You got the Twitter feeds. It's mine. And you got the Stay Ballsy. Hashtag Stay Ballsy. So if you use that in Twitter, it'll pop up in there. And we got Rice Spirits Art. Yeah. <clears throat> You're making a lot of noises. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm using Carol Ann's chair. It's very squeaky. All right, it's fine. I'm just making sure you're all right. I'm not trying to come down on you. I'm just wondering, you know. And, of course, you got the show, my friends. All the various show episodes. Mm -hmm. You got uh, the MP3s. I don't have them all up because I lost a lot of them. And we what? De we deleted the entire archive by accident. So we have to uh, slowly upload those. The artwork is here. I'm just going to go through this very quickly. Today. Mm. Shows me in Hole Punch. We're going to completely redo this section. Um, 
but this is a kind of a placeholder. What we're going to do is kind of give each character like their own page. It's going to expand. It's an, it's an ever expanding website. Going to add things. If things suck, we'll take them out. Ever changing product. But here's the Shazman Hole Punch thing. All the different uh, episodes and videos and whatnot. And as you see here, I got the music from Bandcamp Embedded, which is the first time we ever had this. Nice. Kind of like the idea with the site is give people like a one stop. All in one? Can I use that phrase? Is that okay? Did I just come up with that all in one? Yeah, I think you're good. Did I just create that? It's an all in one stop. So you don't even have to go to YouTube anymore. Why go there? It's a filthy, disgusting place. Twitch TV, they're gross there, okay? They're perverts. You don't have to go there anymore. Bandcamp, I don't even know what those people are, who they are. You don't have to go there. Everything is included here. So all the YouTube videos, all the, all the music, uh, the stream is here too, everything. So that's kind of the idea. That's kind of what we've accomplished, which I'm happy about. Here's the music page. As you can see, the month without the show, it is here, my friends. You can download that song. You basically click on download. It'll ask you for uh, a price or something. You just enter zero if you don't want to pay anything. And you'll get it for free. So there you go. Uh, we got videos. Here's the live stream. That's we're currently on. This might crash everything. So. Oh, gosh. Are you streaming the live stream to the live stream? Yeah, we're streaming the live stream to the live stream. The thing with this. Don't cross the streams. <laughs> Excuse me. The stream that we're embedding is actually the one that Smart Guy made. We had Smart Guy on a couple, I don't know, hundred weeks ago, and this is the one that we all share, right? I don't need, I don't own this account. I don't own this. Um, he does. It's one for all of us to use. So if you want to stream on StayBallsy.com, you ask Smart Guy for the stream key. He'll throw it to you. You stream what you want on StayBallsy.com. Isn't that nice, John? That's very nice. I think it's pretty nice. And the thing is. Uh, we got banned from Twitch, so I didn't know what to, exactly what to do. So if we get banned again, people won't know where to find us, right? It'll, yeah. it'll always be embedded on this page, so stayballsy.com so slash live. It'll always be there no matter where it's actually coming at you from. You could find it at this location, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, here's deal. the forum. I just want to go through very quickly. Here's our forum. We got the chat box going. I hope, you know, everyone signs up. Let's see what kind of uh, topics we got going right now. Yeah. Let's see what the people are up to. This is kind of like, you know, checking in. What do you think OJ smells like is one of the threads. Uh... So you can, you can uh, participate in threads such as that. Here's the Morph Appreciation thread, which I think is pretty great. Aww. And my, my favorite things about the site, you can put like these custom uh, categories that people have to fill out and it shows up on their public profile. So I put favorite animal. This gentleman put the majestic crocodile. And the second one was snarfing flurge question mark. And this gentleman said, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even. And uh, I... Mutu Sundu. He said, of course, why would I not be? Sounds delicious. And I, of course, said yes. <laughs> so that's a little brief overview of the site. I, I, you know, it's, it's great, man. It's great. I'm really happy about that. No, it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, pretty good? Oh, it's more than pretty good. Come and, on, uh, Yeah, I'd love to see you guys, you know, sign up and, you know, if there's something you, you want to see or it's not there or something you don't like or like, tell us know about that. OJ's in there somewhere. I'm lurking, waiting for the chance to strike. That's what he does. He's like a cobra. You're kind of like a cobra. When I think of cobra, I think of you a lot of times. Not like Cobra Commander Cobra, right? No, not exactly. Why don't we kind of tell people what we've been doing in the last couple of weeks? Okay. Why don't you start off... Uh, actually, i got a picture to show. That's, that's it's about you. Ah... <sighs> Not that one. Well, it's going to take a minute anyway because, my gosh. The, this is uh, OJ's home. This is where we delay. flip Schnozman hole punch. The delay. It's okay. Just bear with it. Yep. And I came to OJ's house uh, a week after the last show. So it was like December uh, 18th. And that was the last day you had access to your old place. Yep. And you basically had to clean it out. So we were there for a good five hours. 
Uh, I was assisting you. Were you happy that I came and did this with you? Oh, yeah. I mean, it was weird. I'm like, all I have left is a few things in the kitchen and the fridge. What could possibly go? Oh, my gosh. Why? And this was like, after a few hours, I, you see there's a plunger. There's all kinds of disastrous things. <laughs> Gloves, um, my shoehorn. But uh, that was a wild am- night, yeah. That was, uh, that was something. You had like, you had like uh, 10, 10 to 15 bags of trash that weighed like 20 pounds each. That we had to carry like a mile to the the trash bin. Uh, it was a nightmare. I would have would been able co- to get would you help this me if I had to do, Would you come in and help me if I had to do something like that? Yeah. Definitely. Well, you might have to at some point. <laughs> Let me know. So OJ moved into his new home, and uh, tell us maybe you have an interesting story about the transition. Would it be more fun if we showed we just showed a picture of my old home? So let's talk about my new home. Um. We went away for a couple days, and when we came back, some pipes had frozen. You went to MAGFest. Yeah. We got back at 1 a.m., roughly, and of course, so we get there, and it's warming up a little bit. We get there, and, you know, I go upstairs, you know, we put our stuff down. I'm like, Caroline, I'm really thirsty. Would you like some water? She's like, yeah, I could go for some water. I go downstairs and am greeted by far more water than I would have ever thought to see. I look over in the ceiling. Drip. That's not good. Drip, drip. That's really not. Drip, 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 drip. Water just starts coming down. I'm freaking out. Yes. I look over. Water starts dripping tor- near one of the light fixtures in the ceiling that's currently in. And you've, like, only, nope, you've been in this nope. place for like two weeks. Yeah. I'm the just freaking must out. must be so happy with you. <laughs> Thanks, John. But no, I'm going nuts. Yeah. So, like, we're, we're, I'm searching for plastic bins. I, I take a trash bag out of the trash can, put that underneath it. Water's just coming down and coming down and coming down. And I don't know where the main water shutoff valve is. I had to call the fire department to shut the water off. So the fire department and I came. didn't have the number for the fire department, so I had I had to call nine one one for them to connect me to the fire department. And the fire department came in the home. Yep. Were they were they, they came th- in there. What did they think they about? They said you? that they were doing calls like this all night. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, were they? Happy? Dude, it, it, that was the weekend that it got down to like. Do they want like to come the on the show? Was like two. Do you think they want to come on here and talk about what happened? I, I don't think they want to come back into this home. Okay. And hopefully they won't. You know, have it's really to. strange. Like I'm looking at your camera; it looks exactly like your old place. <laughs> like well, your like your camera shot right now is no is like no different than what it used to look like. Really. Well, it's pretty it's close. Pretty bizarre. Except we're now in the beds on the opposite side. Yeah, yeah. The shelving is on the opposite side. Now there's two brown shelves instead of one, and my other shelf that used to be behind me is now well to my side is now behind me. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. So uh, you had a little, little, little an issue there, and um, it's all straightened out now? Okay, just, now. Some yeah, damage. there was some damage. They're repairing it. It was not fun. Um, That first night, it was really, really cold. Really cold. But uh, we're doing okay. We're alive. We have heat. We have water. We're yeah. doing okay. Got a webcam. Which is actually, like, recording properly now for the first time ever. It's a, it's a whole new thing, man. Maybe the pipe's breaking. Maybe the camera work. You think about it or consider that. <coughs> maybe, a possibility? maybe there's just some finite amount of luck, and if you have enough bad, you have to get good. So uh, I'm going to talk about what I kind of, one of the things I did, went on an adventure. Mm-hmm. We've all heard of the stories, the myths, about but, the prophesized, the lost elephant jungle, John, that exists. Yeah, but they're, I, I heard they were myths. You heard they were myths? Yeah. Right. As people say, who are non-believers, but I believed. I said, I have some time off and I could go and I could search for this. Right? Where the elephants, basically, they left society. Away from the influence of man. They retreated. To live freely, John. Away from your loss. Which you've imposed on them. <sighs> they are not human. There's something much more than that. Well, they're huge. I mean, not exact, it's not exactly easy to hide an elephant, for one. They're huge. Oh, I screwed up. I spoiled something. Okay. 
So in order to find this giant, I, I went to the location where these elephants uh, were believed to be, right? And uh, what I did is I drank some of this water. So bear with me, there is a delay, so don't worry about it. What you do when you drink the water, John, you're trying to get a, a taste for the elephant urine, because they urinate in the water. So if you get it in your mouth, you could know, you could kind of follow the, the trail to where they are. So that's what I right. did here. That's what I did here. I drank, I, I, I got a scent, I got a taste of that urine, and I uh, knew where they were. So, okay, suddenly, so you could tell whether they were upstream or downstream? I could tell where they were. Suddenly, I followed the path. They thought I was correct. There was an elephant there. I transformed it to Indiana Jones. It appears oh? I tied some sort of a belt. My belt. I took my belt off. I wrapped it around this elephant's leg. That's its leg. Are you sure? Uh, it could be. Something. <laughs> some sort of appendage. It's... I had him in this, and he didn't even notice me because he's so majestic it's... and wonderful. And he ran, and I, I, I can run as fast as him, and he led me into the lost elephant jungle. Oh, my. Yeah. It would have been really good if I had, like, some jungle sounds while I did this. You always think about... All right, there you go. Do that. Keep doing it. <laughs> what is that supposed to be? <laughs> sound like you're dying. Keep doing it. It's great. Excellent. I discovered the wonderful jungle. And of course, I needed to bring some people in. I needed to bring supplies to the elephants. I, I found they were in danger. They had been outside of society for so long. They were lost. So I brought a caravan of people. I, I, I took them there. OJ was there, apparently, in the back of the car. And I took them to this wonderful elephant forest. It's magical. As you can see, one of the elephants it, it was in must. It was in his must rage because his ears were uh, wet there. I saw all kinds of things, which included this situation with a rhino and an elephant where the, a second rhino just stood there. And at first I thought he would help his vital friend. But he was as confused and horrified as I was. <laughs> and he, didn't, he, let, he let it happen. He let Holy it happen. wait. He allowed it to happen. That's... <laughs> it's nothing. Uh... And my greatest discovery of all, John. You're going to like this. You're going to love this. Don't be too upset when you see it. I keep more sounds louder. <laughs> oh my god. What the hell? The greatest discovery of all came when I met the elephant king. He was buried beneath several thousand pounds of feces. Which is where the king usually typically will reside. He needs to be protected from intruders and enemies. The feces serves as a protection. He saw the good work I was doing, matching up these rhinos and elephants. He was very impressed with me. And bringing these poachers in. He was very happy about that. He emerged, and he allowed me to ride his back. And this, this is what I did, ladies and gentlemen, as you see from this photo. I rode the king elephant for several miles. He returned me to my home. And that is the end of the story. I only wish that that photo didn't come up as black for me. Oh, there it is. What the what? <laughs> wow. And as you see, there's a monkey. <laughs> a monkey trying to assassinate the king. Up in the tree. No, that the monkey might be trying to kill the elephant. I think that elephant strangled him. I think he was monkeys. trying to kill me before doing a terrible bit. That was really very good. He was trying to kill me. Oh, hush. <laughs> uh, Bushi and... Uh, and Lion King Gamer actually came with me, and they were the ones that took those photos. Well, that's very nice of them. Yeah, so that was my adventure, John. What do you think about that whole situation there? I think that's very impressive. You're impressed by the king, I can see. That you... The king is truly a majestic beast. He really was, in more ways than one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously the prettiest animal I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. So this is why I do the show, because it's really just fun for me. I don't even know if anyone would like that. I just I just really enjoy doing it. It's just really fun, so that's why it happens. Well, I'm just glad you didn't try to smuggle any of the elephants back. Uh, you may have some guests coming to your new home, okay? 
Just oh, for crying out loud! At there. least let it be the monkey. The monkey's trying to kill you. What? All right, whatever. Well, at least the monkey's not going to crush the house. So, John, mm -hmm. this is a wacky show today. Waka bear waka. with us. Bear with us on this one. So, at the end of Koala the year, right? bear with us. Oh, okay. Yes. So, at the end of every year, people go crazy. All these websites, uh, individuals, uh, companies, corporations. Magazines. Magazines. There you go. Excellent. Excellent addition. People make these top ten lists. They want to. They want to take things, put them in the list of ten, the top ten, mm -hmm. and they go really crazy with this. Like they do the top ten worst things. Which why would I want to look at that if it's the worst things, right? It doesn't really matter. Yeah, it's pretty grody. People want to. I don't know. People like it. Top ten the moments. Top 10 awesome stuff. Think about that. Moments. How? Oh, that's that's a moment. A moment. Ten, ten of those? How do you even do that? People do this. Yeah. So, I said we should do this here on the show. We have to do the same thing everyone else does. Because this is how it has about. to be. That's what we're all about. Exactly. You know how it is, John. Oh, definitely. So I'm like, okay, what are we going to do the top ten of? And then I was like, well, why just one thing, right? Why, why would we make, limit ourselves? Why limit yourself to one thing? And I started thinking about it. There's all these top tens out there. How about, ladies and gentlemen, if this will load properly, which I don't think it will, give it time, the top 10, top 10s of 2014 as chosen by the universe, and 2014, I feel like enough time has passed already in 2014 where we can make lists like this. Yeah. I feel like that's acceptable. As chosen by the universe, so don't get upset if it's um, not your pick, because... We didn't choose this ourselves. The universe did. People, everyone voted on this. So it's the top. Can you explain this better than me, John? The top ten, top ten lists that exist. This is the top ten, top ten list of 2014, as chosen by the universe. All right, there you go. So what do we have for the for number ten? The top ten, number top ten tens of 2014. Yeah. Number ten in the top ten, top tens of 2014. Top ten pants. The top ten pants made mm -hmm. the top ten, top tens. Uh, so we're going to do it for each one of these. We're going to kind of show like the uh, the winners or the top the top couple. Can't go through mm -hmm. all ten of each. Time constraints and whatnot. We don't have the authorization in the media to do that. Um, but it appears coming in number two was uh, was it khakis a khaki pant. Khaki pants. Do you like the khaki pants? <clears throat> They're okay. You like the khaki shorts? Yeah, I mean, I just prefer shorts in general, but khaki pants are pretty good if the pockets are big enough. When did khaki pants really come into play? I feel like it was like the late 80s Dockers came in. I don't know. Did I didn't really pay that? attention to it until middle school. Middle school was just all of a sudden, I think I got I wore khakis like every day. Why is it like every job they want you to wear khaki pants? You notice that? I don't know. It just looks like dress pants and people think, oh, you're all so fancy. Well, if the pants are like black, then it's totally, well, no, that's not professional, dude. <laughs> or they're blue or something. It has to be the khaki. Yeah. All right, well, that was, that was uh, the number two selection. Let's see who won the uh, top ten pants. It's, it's these here, um, which seem, which makes sense to me. They seem like they have a lot of different uses. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of straps and, and pockets. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> and it looks like the bottoms kind of open up to... Can you explain this better than me, maybe? So it looks like somebody decided they wanted to make Kingdom Hearts pants for real people. Yeah. These are the best so pants in 2014. You've got those ago. loops. You can hang your ice picks off of those. Yeah. And um, if you don't have ice picks, hats or buttons or pins, just remember to take them all off before you uh, put them in the wash or something. You do wash your pants. You've got pockets for storing your... Authentic 18th century handkerchiefs. I'm sure, like, none of this will get caught on a door as it shuts and drive off with part of your pants stuck in the car. Dragging oh, no, you don't along. worry. They're, they're built designed that if someone's going to catch them in a door, they will rip the door off. Okay. Well, those uh, those won the pants thing. Uh, this was an honorable mention. It was a controversy because they're actually snow pants. And um, they were disqualified because they do have the upper body portion. Oh. The suspenders, so that, that was actually not allowed. Oh, come on! Yeah. Do you have a pair? Of, do you wear? Do you have the snow pants? I have a few pairs, but I haven't seen them in years. 
You don't know where they I mean, are. If I, if I, I wouldn't go skiing. You just without. moved, didn't you? You didn't see them in your packing? Nope. 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 So, so they're out there see. somewhere. You don't know where they are, but you have them. Somewhere. Maybe in my parents' home. All right. Well, well fair enough. Um, there we go. Uh, what's next on the top 10? Top 10s. This is number nine. All right. Number nine in the top 10, top 10s is 2014. Yeah. Top 10 shark facial expressions. Oh, wow. Okay, well, here, yeah. here's the top three. Here's this one here. He seems like he's uh, having a good time. Like he's having a laugh. Having a laugh? Hmm. You don't see it yet? Well, I'll let you know when I see it. <laughs> we have to figure out how to get you like a, a, a live feed from me or something somehow. Okay, so this guy, yeah, he's just heard something very funny. He has a joke he wants to share with you. He Please. heard it. He get heard, closer. He heard it like underneath the ocean, to the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. And he's like, uh, you know, hey. If you want look, to really freak yourself out, yeah. don't look at its eyes and think that its nostril things are its eyes. Whoa. No, don't do that to right? me. Don't do that to me, dude. Come on. That's just, that's, it's freaky. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here's the next one. I don't know if you saw it yet. Um, what, what expression is this? I am a sandworm from Dune. What do you think you'd find? I am a like, like pit. if you stuck your arm right in there, what do you think you'd come out with? Not much of an arm. I feel like it'd be like something like, well, let's say he was sedated, and you just were able to do that. I think you'd come out with something pretty good, like a treasure chest or something. I'm not willing to try I bet that. You'd, I bet you'd pull out like a whole other shark would come out. He's got like a, you've seen Alien, right? He's got other I bet sharks. you would have a smaller head inside to bite your hand off. He's got other sharks in there, and then, ladies and gentlemen, this is the top shark facial expression of 2014, right here. Uh, how could you beat this look? Just wonderful. O OJ, well, let me know when you can see it. <laughs> nope. Oh. Wow. Yup. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hey man! Yeah, like, so he's got like a secret to tell you, right? I've seen some stuff, man. He's like, I got, I got to tell you a secret. Don't tell anybody about this, but uh, see those uh, female sharks over there? We'll give it up to anybody, even the whales. This guy has seen some stuff in his life. He's seen some stuff. Yeah, he's seen some stuff. All right, John, number eight. Number eight, top ten, top tens of 2014. Top 10 moles. Top 10 moles. I don't really know where they're going with this. Oh my gosh. If there's a naked mole rat, I'm going to cry. A naked mole rat? Or a star-nosed mole. Any of those, and I will cry. Here's the uh, the runner-up, uh, the top moles, top 10 moles of 2014. Is this a, if this is my face, I'm going to cry. You don't like moles. Why? No, I'm just going to cry if it's my face. Oh, there we go. That's fine. That's cool. Look at his hands. He's like, my fingernails are far too big. Those are built Help for uh, those are built for digging. Those things. They look like mut mutants, like mutant hands, right? Oh my gosh, that is messed Would up. Do you want to have yeah. hands like that? No, dude, that guy makes could... the beast look normal. There's... <laughs> There's a lot you could do with those hands. What if like I... someone in your family? Um, well, let's say um, I don't want to get too personal here. Hypothetical situation. You're with the girl, not necessarily the one you're with, just the hypothetical situation, okay? And she's like, she's like, I want you to have mole hands like this. Do you go for the operation or no? And you like her like a lot, like you're like all about it. Dude, I don't think I'd want to get <laughs> okay plastic surgery for that reason. All right, fine, fair enough. So here we go, the top mole, the top mole of uh, 2014. Here we go. Well, I can't. Wait to see it. I'm pretty sure he's gonna do be crazy. Do the, do the drum roll. Do the drum hi hat. Everyone's gonna see it after the drum. No, no, roll. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying, do the do dum dum for the cheesy joke. Put them. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the top. That's a good mole right there. Uh, did you ever? <laughs> did you ever have a mole like that? Like, like some kind of body mole? Not that bad. Oh, that's not bad. I have two on some my people, face. Like, some people think it's, it's nice. I think it's nice. I've got two on my face, man. Well, I'm saying like At a least. like a big one that you had to get like some people got to get them removed and stuff. No, I haven't anything that bad. Huh? Nothing quite that bad. Wow. 
I have a story to tell. I don't know if I should say it, though. Oh. I had a mole, my friends. I had removed. It was a, it was, um, lower, bo- lower part of the body. You know what I'm talking about, John. The crotch oh, area. One. It was in the crotch area. Yeah. And I was probably about five years old. And, um, it was a good size. And they were like, okay, um, you should get that, you know, they told my parents you should get it removed because it could become like, it could become like cancerous or something. Is that what happens? Yeah. 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 So I was like five years old and they do, they like, they like numb it and they burn off. It's, it wasn't like on my balls or anything. Don't get any crazy ideas. It was just low in that region. Okay. Don't, don't get any weird ideas. Oh boy. But I remember them, I remember like being, laying there and them doing it. And then like the nurse came in and like, just like walked in and st- like stared. I, obviously I was pantsless, you know, for the whole thing. And I was young, I was a kid, I was very small, but I do remember that situation. Apparently, was there any point for me to tell the story at all? That's pretty funny. I'm, I'm, I mean, revealing things uh, about myself. Yeah, I mean, a little, little bit. I mean, oi. I can imagine. Let's say you were like uh, much older than that. That'd be a lot more awkward, right? Yeah, a little bit. So you were like 15. The nurse would still stare. Depending on what you got going on, I guess you could take that as a compliment. Maybe because I was like, I was a five year old kid. She was like, oh my God, this, this kid's like. He's hung like a freaking... What did they do? He's hung like a king elephant. All right. What's the next one? <laughs> the next top 10 top 10s of 2014. So number seven. Number seven is the top 10 postal workers. Top 10 postal workers. Number now, this three. This a pretty hard-fought category. It really was. And um, I'm going to try to filibuster until you can see the picture so you can maybe describe what you're seeing. Um, Excuse me. I think about all the postal workers out there, how hard they work, and it came down to this. You know, very intense. Still nothing? <laughs> <coughs> there we go. Tell us about this guy. You know his name, and you know everything about him. Go ahead. Okay. This is Jason Underclay. Okay. And uh, he is from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yes, of course. And they actually didn't have enough budget to give him a mail truck. Everyone else in... <laughs> His post office got the truck. Yeah, yeah. This man did not. Right. And he has a very large radius where he needs to deliver mail. So he's smiling here because he's been working for about 14 hours this day, and this is his last run. That American flag, by the way, he actually brings that with him to every route, and he sticks it in the ground wherever he goes. Before he puts the mail in every single delivery spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even want to know... And some houses, he just get he just knocks on the door, gives them the mail. He doesn't even come back for like 15, 20 minutes. He only came he a third. Finishes. He only came a third because the flag did slow him down. Yeah, but, it was uh, unfortunate. It's patriotic, but maybe not ideal. Not practical. Can you see the next one yet? Yes. All right. This guy seems a lot more aggressive in his mail delivering. Uh, yeah, this guy is a very, very efficient postman. It seems Basically, like maybe he doesn't necessarily give you your mail, but he does get all the mail out. The the eerie thing about this postman is everyone knows him and everyone can describe him, but they can't ever describe his face. Yeah, he doesn't (laughs) show up in photographs. It gets cropped out. He's like a vampire. There's a lens flare. (laughs) Everyone, this he delivers to all his mail in the entire neighborhood, but no one's ever actually seen him next to an open mailbox. He may or may not be a vampire mailman. Is what you're saying? Um, And like I said, he seems like he he gets he gets all the mail out. It's not necessarily your mail. Some of it will be yours. Yeah. But he's very efficient. Uh, he just kind of grabs from a bag and just throws it in your face. He runs up to you. Yeah. On like, the street. It's not even at your home. He can't, just... even, he can't even read what's on the envelope. <laughs> I can't read. <laughs> no, no, look at the angle. He can't read it. He's tilting it towards you and away from him. He can't read. A mailman that can't read. <sighs> wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, uh, here's the next one. Um, basically, uh, it's a tie for first. Post the, gov- the government has no money left, and they've tried. They've had to um, employ some non-traditional employees. So as you see here, a child uh, mailman. They forced him <laughs> to go out and deliver the mail, and uh, the next much cheaper. Yeah, it is. They're smaller, so you don't have to like they weigh less less gas. They can actually fit into the mail slot if like there's a letter that gets stuck <laughs> in the box and you can't get it out. 
You just shove an entire one of these in there, let them yeah, rattle they, around for a few minutes, open the hatch, she falls out with the letter. Yeah, when they drive the car, like they're a lot lighter, so they can put more mail in the car with them. Yeah, they drive. some gas mileage too. And they're they're not the best drivers, but whatever. And uh, here you go. Um, they've actually started creating undead mailmen um, with the help of a Dr. Frankenstein. Yeah, to, they uh, don't complain. Them. They don't go crazy. Wind or rain or sleet or hail will not stop them. However, they do have issues with lightning. That's and, their uh, only drawback. Yes, yeah, so they may kill you as well. So if there's lightning, you have to watch out. Lightning, you'll probably see some of the baby mailmen, but yeah. if it's a clear, dry day or there's no lightning, you'll you'll get one of these guys. You know what the ultimate uh, team is? The baby riding on the, the, the monster? Oh, yeah. Because you could just throw him into like the, the, the mail slot. and he've, Yeah, no, he'll throw him at the mail slot. He'll throw the, let, the letters into the house or whatever, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then he'll run back ready to be thrown to the next house. Oh, okay. Very nice. Okay, what's next? This is number six. All right. This is number six in the top 10, top 10s of 2014. Wow, it's exciting. Top 10 months. The top 10 months of 2014? Yes. All right, coming in second place, February. It was disqualified because it does not exist yet or happen. So it cannot win. (laughs) Number one, the winner, January. Very nice. Because we can prove that January happened. Because January did happen, and it is factually... Sometimes there's opinions on these things, right? You can say, well, my opinion's different than yours. Sometimes there's facts about yeah, these top tens. Yeah, can't argue with facts. A factual top ten. This is what we're doing here. Yeah. Wow. January is... I don't think that's even the right uh, year that, that we put up there, but... <laughs> uh, today is neither of the... Yeah, it's today. completely wrong. Um, yes. January is the best month. My birthday is in January on the 21st. Oh, yeah. January's a pretty good month. Yeah. And last year was Ramborgia Day, so maybe we'll talk about that later. I didn't, I didn't plan Ooh. anything. That'd be cool. What's next? This is number five, the top five. Okay. Number five in the top 10, top 10s of 2014. The top 10 best hyphen, hyphen, hyphen. Okay. I don't think uh, you got this information. No. <laughs> All right. The top. <laughs> Number five in the top ten top tens is the top ten best photos of Abdullah the Butcher, professional wrestler, the top the top photos. So here's a couple okay. photos of Abdullah. Abdullah is a great man. I've met him before. And he does the same pose. If you go for a picture with Abdullah, he does the same pose with you. He grabs your head and puts the fork to you. Ouch. And here's the, the first photo of Abdullah. Does he actually stab you? No, he holds it up to, he holds it up to your head. Okay. There's Abdullah with a fan a, uh, that he met and is saying hello to. Do you see that yet? No. <laughs> You'll see it soon. And uh, here's the next one. This is Abdullah, uh, a VHS tape where he had many matches with many great wrestlers like Andre the Giant and Sabu, Carlos Colon, and also someone named Lance. So there you go. Just some dude named Lance? Yeah, I don't know what that could be. Uh, it could be a couple different people, I guess. Abdullah, would you, what, what do you think face. about Abdullah, John? You would you want to maybe get in the ring with him? Um, I've got a feeling that he would destroy me quite handily. I'd like to see Seems the match. He's like a nice guy, but I think he would win by a long shot. I'd like to see the match. And now we're at number four. Number four, the top ten, top tens, is yep. the top ten worst photos of Abdullah the Butcher, <laughs> and it's actually the same exact photos that we have for the best. So these are actually the best and the worst photos. Wow, well, that's efficient. Yeah, that's pretty good. It gets through it pretty quick there. Okay. All right, we're number three now. The top All right, three. number three. The top three. Oh, yeah. Number three in the top ten, top tens of 2014 is the top ten unfinished... Yeah, this must be uh, some, some. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's a list that um, was not completed, an uncompleted top ten. But then it's not a top ten. It is a top ten. It was not completed, but it somehow still made the best list. I don't know how this happened, but this is what the universe decided. Maybe we could try to figure out what it is. Okay, so here's the first photo. Um, it has something to do with uh, some sort of a sausage, uh, frying a sausage. Do you know anything about this? No. <laughs> Alright, take, a, take I, a look when it loads and maybe you can give some more information on what's happening. I'll try, but I can make no promises. 
Well, you know, we try our okay. best. Okay. Yeah, sure yeah. They're good. frying. Is that a sausage or a pickle? I have no idea. This is this was a nondescript. Like this is what people chose as one of the top tens, but I don't know what it's about. You know what it is? I think it was a top ten, but they lost the name of it or something. I think it's the top ten most dangerous vats of oil. <laughs> Dude, this is how the Joker happened. That's pretty ridiculous, though, isn't it? Yeah. This guy's about to dude. lose his entire arm. He's going down. I know. You don't get that close. He's like, a, he's like, it's worth the risk. I'm frying the shit. I will lose my entire dude, left side of my I body if picture, I have to. He lifts that stick up out of there, and he's got like a lobster cage filled with fried cylinders, whatever those things are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just dripping everywhere, and he's got to line him up like, somewhere. Let me ask you a question, okay? Hmm? Can you put, like, anything in the deep fryer? Within reason, you could put a turkey in wrong and set your house on fire. Did you do that? No. At your new house? No. No, that was a thing that did not happen. Okay. It happened at your old place? No, no, I've never set a, tur a turkey on fire. Okay, I don't know. We, st we don't know what this top ten is. We somehow made the list. We lost the name of what it was. Yeah. Uh, here's the next piece. It has to do with the other one. Um, the Red Hot Chili Peppers Californication album cover. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps that's like okay. a, a deep fryer uh, in the pool. I, I don't know. I don't know what it's all about. No, well, look at the oil. There, there's still oil involved. There's still oil involved. Well, uh, first of all, it's got the word fornication in it, so oil is definitely involved. This is okay. So, it could be something to do with oil. We don't know. We'll try to figure it out. And here's yeah, the last either that picture. or that's Jupiter's Great Red Spot. Here's the last one. Uh, OJ, okay. we'll give OJ a second to uh, catch up. Um, I don't know what, what we got right now. It's quite disturbing, and I'm disgusted yes. by it. Honestly, um, do you see it? Nope. All right, I'm gonna have to take it off the screen too because I I may actually here. throw up. Ah! All right, so we saw three, the top three of that top ten. What do you think it was all about? That is a travesty. That's the top ten best ways to ruin beer. The they ruin both beer the and boobs. <laughs> At the same I have time, to take it off. I have to take it off. Too much. How could the universe is a little sick in the head? Why would a little sick in the head there, universe? All right. Why would can you draw? Can you connect the dots on that or no? I can't, so I give up. Do you have something? Uh, no, I don't want to think about the dots right, on that. Right. So actually. number two, the top ten top tens of twenty fourteen. Okay, number two on the top ten top tens of twenty fourteen is the top ten types of fertilizer. The top ten types of fertilizer. This is going to get messy. Oh, boy. Now, I'm surprised that pulp isn't on the list. Excuse me? Nothing. I didn't say anything. You think the top ten types of pulp? No, a fertilizer. Is pulp a fertilizer? I don't know what it is. You made me drink it in the beginning of the show today, in the intro. It's whatever oh. it needs to be. Okay, that's deer. That is clearly deer poop. Deer poop. You see this quite often around uh, these parts. Yeah, where we live, there's deer poop. Did you ever have a friend, like when you were a kid, you were around the woods, they, they, they ate the, the poop? Or they picked it up, at least? Are your friends stupid? Did they pick it up, maybe? Not eat it? No! Maybe. That is disgusting and gross, and they're dumb. Did they take it, throw people it? People are dumb. They should be banned from stupid. Did they ever pick it up, throw it? No, no, no one I dissociated with. That's gross. Uh, you know strange people. Nice, you frighten this me. This one makes me a little sick, so I can't show it for too long. It actually makes me a little gag a little. Uh, uh, why would... This is a fertilizer. Uh, the top 10 fertilizers. Okay. Ugh. It's. It looks like a freak of carrot cake. I have to turn it off. I have to, turn, I have to uh, take it away. Uh, it looks, no, no, here it comes. I ah, took it away. I took it away already. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, it looks like a loaf of What is of that from? What is really <laughs> What was that from? What animal gave that? It looks like dog vomit. It looks like dog vomit. It could be both. I remember uh, going to... Um, yeah, it goes away. All right, now... The I remember going to your... No, we're not done with this, John. Okay. There's, more, there's, more? there's more. Well, anyway. Why is there more fertilizer? Because this is the, list, the top 10 of 2014. Okay. People need these lists. They can't decide for, for, for themselves what's good or bad. They need these lists to tell them. Don't you understand the purpose okay. of these things? <laughs> okay. I remember going well, to your home probably 15 years ago. And your dog, Teddy, had a stomach problem. You were, no. You were home alone. No. And OJ was forced to wipe the dog. Oh. <laughs> 
No, we didn't photograph that, and you didn't talk to my mom. No, so no, I don't have a. Have I don't have a. Photo photo I'm just saying it. I'm just talking about it. Yeah. Do you remember this? Yes. Do you have anything to say about it? Gross. But you know, you love them anyway. So do, you, you, if you love them, and then it's okay. I love the dog. If you hate him, like, then taking things out of his butt. But if you hated him, then you would be like, oh, it would be worse, right? So my point in all this is, if you truly love someone, you will clean their butt. You will wipe their is butt. Is this going to be a pooped up baby? There's no picture. Oh, we're just having a conversation. Okay. Oh, about the top ten, top tens. Okay, no, because I I do have a, something to say about Teddy and poop. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. He ate his choke collar one day. And he pooped it. It didn't come out all the way. You had to pull it. We had to pull it out, and the the metal part was gone. Wow. Good story. Damn! It never came. The metal part never came out. We, I don't know. Maybe he didn't eat the metal part. Oh, okay. Maybe it was just gone. But yeah, ugh. that's part of the fun though of having a, a, a yeah. an animal. Like I remember, he ate a whole pizza. Oh, yeah, an entire whole brownie pizza. in about five seconds. And all right, so this is the number one uh, fertilizer. <sighs> um, out of the number three top ten, top tens, top ten <laughs> number two. fertilizer number two. This is number two. Yeah. Okay. This is number two. Number two. I'm sorry. <sighs> Here we go. This is the top fertilizer because you know <clears throat> if this gentleman here sitting on top of this loaf, if he likes it, then you know it's a mighty fine fertilizer, fertilizer. my friends. So there you go. Quite. Okay. Can can we make it go? You don't away? like insects, do you? I I don't like insects or poop, and this is both. <laughs> so it's kind of a double failure on my part for having eyes attached. <clears throat> oh, I, I so, want to eat chocolate tomorrow. Slicky, Slicky in the chat says it looks like his school lunch. Yeah, I'm so yeah. sorry. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> That's about right. Uh, okay, so okay. we're at the number one. Oh, you can take it away, John. Go ahead. We're at the number one top ten top tens of 2014. And the number one top ten top ten of 2014 is top ten top ten top tens who compiled the best top ten top tens of 2014 list all right so let me understand this okay it's the top ten top ten top tens so it goes to whoever compiled the best top ten top tens list this year. yes yes okay so i wonder who is going to win this there is a runner-up could it be there was a runner-up situation here we go number two tommy Steele. He, he does a podcast called The Rockin' Podcast, John. Oh. He also did a top 10 top 10s, but his was the number two top 10s <clears throat> top 10s. Out of the top 10 top 10s top 10 of 2014. Take that, Timmy St Tommy Steele. Some people might know his brother, Timmy Steele, who has been known to co-host a certain podcast with me from time to time. <laughs> According to Wikipedia, anyway. Yeah. Which is always correct. <laughs> Do you ever hear Tommy Steele Rockin' Podcast? No. It's, it's quite good, and I highly recommend it. I would love to hear it. It's that. actually going to be part of the WWE Network when it launches. Oh. And here we go, the number one. <laughs> the number one, top ten, top tens, top ten, top tens. <laughs> list maker. Goes to, in a surprise upset, John Rowe presents the show. Yeah, we best, win the prize. It's the best top ten, top tens list <clears throat> of 2014. We, we ought to be in the number one spot. Yeah, yeah, number one. Take that, top ten shark facial expressions. <laughs> you thought you were hot stuff with your teeth and your eye fake face. We are much better than uh, shark facial expressions. I do. Oh, man. Well, yeah, I they do, bite. Well, barely better. Your, your camera's all screwed again now. By the way, I didn't do anything. I did nothing. Did you tell her she's on camera? Uh, not I didn't out. have to. Okay. Oh my gosh, I am. Oh my gosh, I'm taking a photo of this now that I'm actually on. You're right, I'm on Wikipedia now. Oh, they changed it back this to you? This is it. Yeah, it's me. I'm on Wikipedia. Thanks, guys. I don't know who's doing that, by the way. <sighs> this is like the best day ever. I'm on Wikipedia with my best friend John, and we are so cool. Yeah, but you know, as soon as, show. as soon as you say this now, people are gonna someone's gonna change it because you said that. <laughs> I'm saving this as Wikipedia.png on are my. Are you computer. saving the photo of it? 
Yes. I could have been photoshopped, John. I, you could have been photoshopped, John. I could have been, but uh, you think they do a better job with the uh, <coughs> physical oh, appearance. Oh, come on, dude. You already look photoshopped. All right. So that's uh, a lot of the silliness of the show. We're trying to put that behind us now. Mm-hmm. OJ, before we went on break, you were telling us how you were looking for a special RPG video game. Yeah. That you wanted to play and maybe give us updates about on the show. Yeah. And I got a lot of good suggestions from people. Why don't you take it away? Because you know more about this than I do. Go ahead. Okay. So I went hunting. I decided I wanted to find something that was really obscure, right? Like some game that like not a lot of people had heard of that I could share with them for the first time. So I looked and I looked and I looked. And there's this really weird, I had to like special order it game japan only this is from like like around 1997 i don't remember like 99 somewhere between 95 and 98 and 99 which was a golden <clears throat> of golden time for rpgs yeah it was great this is like when they were coming out with the best rpgs ever <clears throat> so i found this one game japan only yeah so i'm having some problems with it i haven't gotten that far you want me to show the picture now just let me know and i'll do it yeah, yeah, yeah. So I f- this is like the one of the only pieces of art I could find for it. Okay, here online. it is, ladies and gentlemen. This is the the, the picture that uh, OJ supplied yeah. me with. It's called Shin Monogatari no Densetsu. And what does this mean, John? Because I know you do speak the language. Um, it means like Legend of the True Story. So, okay, I'm really bad at translating this stuff. Like, I tried to play Namco versus Capcom, the older game, not I'm um, Namco Cross Capcom. The old one, Namco Cross Capcom, like way back in the day, and that took forever. It was a headache. I had to find like um, walkthroughs that would just at least tell me the dialogue. What console was this on? Um, the original, I think, came out for the Saturn. Okay, you don't even know. So I'm pretty sure that they redid it for the um. How are you playing PS2? this? You're play- how are you playing this now? I've got it's a Ron? Saturn. Oh, okay. I have a Saturn, right. so. Okay. But honestly, I've been having so many problems getting that thing to work. That I might just hunt down the greatest hits PS2 version. And what was the name of the game again? Shin Monogatari no Densetsu. And what does that mean? Legend of the True Story. Legend of the True Story. This was uh, yeah. maybe more obscure, or is this a pop- was very popular? This is, su- this is super obscure, but like it's supposed to be one of the best games ever. One of the best games ever. A lot of people know about it, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, so, I don't okay, know. Tell us it's about it. really, really niche game. So, I started playing. I didn't get super far. But what it seems like, it's like... I'm trying to pin a genre on it. It's like a steampunk, futuristic, historical, historical Victorian, medieval, modern day cyberpunk fantasy. Wow, interesting. Yeah. So you, the main character. Now I'm pretty sure I got his name right. I could be reading the characters wrong. It's Kumo Kido, which sounds kind of silly, honestly. I, I I don't know. I could be doing this wrong, but um, so. He's the main character. From what I can gather, he lives with his mom. I haven't seen any mention of a dad at all. Huh. He's, he's the stereotypical RPG thinks so he's about 15 or so. And he's just some kid who's living a boring life with his mom and his dog. Um, he mentioned something about seeing his two best friends, but they haven't shown up yet. Like, I barely even left the house. Like, I'm trying to get through the tutorial, and it's ridiculous. Like, there's bookshelves throughout the house. And I feel compelled to read each bookshelf. And it's not just like, oh, you hit the button, up pops the text, one line. No, this stuff is long. But it's weird. So I've got a bookshelf, right? I, I think there's actual gas lighting in the house, which just doesn't make sense to me. Not electricity, gas like lamps, like gas lamps coming from the walls. And uh, his mom's just stuck in... I mean, I hate to say it, but her character doesn't leave the kitchen. She just stays in place like Pokemon style and just kind of hangs out in front of the sink. Like, you can talk to her, but she just says the same few things over and over. Something about playing nice, have fun with your friends, play nice, have fun with your friends. I mean, they didn't get that imaginative back then. Yeah, right. But so far, I mean, the art looks beautiful. I mean, the, the, the sprites or the graphics, whatever they're called, are what you'd expect for the era, but my gosh, it is a throwback to a golden age of gaming. Which type of like, do you have I, sp- special abilities, some type of... Uh... So, it's weird. So, up in his room on his wall, 
there's a wooden sword. So I'm pretty sure, like, what's going to... I'm just guessing. I go outside. One of my friends is right when I exit the door, like, finally, I can leave this house. I've read the whole tutorial. Because there's a basement, too, with dummies set up. I'm going to leave the house, and my best friend's going to shove me back into the house and give me this long spiel about how the other friend, the quiet, weak one, is missing. Ten to one. That's what's going to happen. And the first quest, I'm going to be like, oh, no, so-and-so's missing. Mom, I've got to go rescue so-and-so. That's nice, dear. I'm going to run up, grab the dang wooden sword, and go outside. And have to go find some cave in some forest, learning how to fight cute fuzzy monsters on the way. So you're not, uh, you're not looking forward to this? It's going to be fun. Okay. I'm just like... I, I just I want to get to it, but again, I like, just did some research house, on this game. It's actually uh, uh, several hundred hours long. Uh, I know. So you're gonna have to play through it. That's you know what we're doing here. That's that's the thing. Like it's supposed to be genre bending. Right now, it seems pretty standard RPG fare. I guess we'll see what happens. Um, yeah. I, on future episodes of the show, we're gonna give us a little update mm -hmm. on what's going on. Maybe some of the people at home will also like to play the game and yeah. keep, keep up with you. Maybe. Uh, oh, I will so probably get to the end after. It's a competition now. Well, it's not a competition. I'm, I already said I'm going to lose. Yeah. That's it. <sighs> yeah. Well, let's uh, look forward to that. The Legend of the True Story. Is that the name? Out. Excellent. What do I try to do here? You've seen us do the new segment before. Yeah. A lot of people ask, what game is this? Um, you can find it very easily. Uh, it's readily available to all of us. Go, go check it out. Mm-hmm. It's a huge game. It was one of the biggest games ever. Um, so we did the news segment. In Japan. The news segment, yes. Well, in Japan. I'm sorry, yes. And um, in Poland, actually, too. Strangely enough. But, um, <laughs> but anyway, uh, what I want to try to do here is you give us uh, some ideas. I want John to kind of be in charge of this because he's going to be the, the lyric maker. Uh-oh. And come up with some sort of a thing, a, a storyline, a... Um, you should give us, like, a, a person. Yeah, there you go. And a person, then maybe their job, or something the person did. And then what we'll try to do is I'm going to try <clears> to come <throat> up with a little uh, rhythm. OG's going to try to lay down some wonderful song, track, vocals, even though his voice is completely hurting Shot. him. <laughs> yes, literally. So maybe it wasn't. It's, it's uh, bad enough that my voice hurts you guys. It's worse when it hurts me. And I don't really expect this to work that well over Skype. Yeah. But I said, hey, let's try it out, right? Why not? Yeah. So, OJ, why don't you um, run the chat, get some, get some ideas for people. And, All right, guys. Whatever you want it to be. So we're looking for a person. Just uh, some sort of person. Um, I should show the either, chat. It doesn't here. have to be a real person. Okay, so so far we've heard Billy Joe Armstrong, who is a musician. A song and then, about uh, a guy who writes songs? Has that yeah, been but done? we don't have to do it about the music. Has that been done before? All right, we got The King Elephant by Ojaculation. <laughs> Very cool. Bob Saget took the cookie from the cookie jar. Well, that one writes itself, Union XX. My nipples aren't a person. Oh, oh. All right, guys, a couple more would be good. Uh, you can also make your own, John, if you don't like what they're giving you. No, I'm still liking Billy Joe, but then we have to get something that Billy Joe did. You can reject everyone, and you can just do your own thing if you want. Uh, you have that ability. No, no, I'm... Okay, you know what? Let's go with Lance Armstrong. But Nero Must Die, Mojo Jojo, jo, is a pretty cool thing to say. All right. Good night, Bushi. Let's go with all right. Let's go with Lance Armstrong. Now, something that Lance Armstrong did, something that happened to Lance Armstrong. What did Lance, what are we going to sing about Lance Armstrong? Lance Armstrong. Armstrong. Yeah, the biker. He's a he's a cyclist. He rode a bicycle, won the Tour de France a few times, got I in trouble for dope. I know. Right. Um, right. Okay. 
All right, John, just got to pick stuff. Right, Lance Armstrong went to... Aw. Lance Armstrong went to Dixieland. What is Dixieland? Do you want... It's like southern, like, country... Oh, okay. You went to the... Lance Armstrong sure goes to the... Yeah. To a country jamboree kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Huh, country, huh? Exactly. Yeah. Sing your song. About a man called Lance Armstrong. Oh, right, give me a second. There we go. Sing your song. Went on down to Dixieland on his bike, he went real fast. Little would he know that he got a flat, fell right on his skirt. And he was sad and all the folks, but they all came to help. Couldn't help him get it up, so they took him to the shelf. Found themselves a bike pump, made it oh so hard. I can't hear the guitar cause my computer's being rude. With that bike pump, they did pump Armstrong's bike all day. Pumped and pumped every angle in every single way. And he tried to ride that bike, fell right over you. You might know your name. So get up off my hands Put it together on his one bike And then lost the way Lance Armstrong's my friend Lance Armstrong's the best OJ gave him the drugs He planted them He framed him for a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> that was tough, man. It's weird because the guitar comes through and then I can I can't hear it when I talk. Yeah, it doesn't really work uh, for Skype. Yeah, sorry, folks, for do one more just just to burning hell ears. Of it. Then we'll never one do more it. for the heck of it. We'll never do it again. All right, guys, this is never gonna happen again. So we need one more person. I think you need more um, material there. Okay. You need to have, this, yeah, like, they go to the place. They need to have more of a, what are they doing? Well, I mean, I could do a, like, if we took somebody and then, okay, we'll, 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 we'll get there. Okay. So, if anyone can give us another person, we'll do one more. <laughs> Jerry Sandusky. Jerry Sandusky? Come on. Oh, Mike boy. Tyson? Oh, boy. Poop, man. <laughs> We're getting a lot of interesting suggestions here, Stuff folks. I'm just completely say. off the wall. Well, I would hope the poop is off the wall. I mean, it's easier to clean it off we the wall. We already enough poop on this. All right. Mike Tyson's good. Man, they're Miley Cyrus or Mike Tyson. Oh, we don't need that. Walt, Walt Disney's Disney? good. Stephen well, King is to... good. We're going to Disney? Yeah. All right. Do you want to do uh, Stephen King then? That's fine. All right. What about Stephen King, guys? Stephen King. What about him? Um, did something him? happen to him? Do we want to give him a job that he has to try and do? <sighs> what does Stephen King do, or what happened to Stephen King? Wow, we got a lot more interesting people. A lot more, a lot of people too. Because well, they're getting the, they're getting the hang of it now. Yeah, they're getting the hang of it. They want to help. They want to help you. They do want to help. So what's Stephen All right, King Booma, doing? welcome to the stream. Tell us, tell us uh, something that that could happen to anyone. Okay, we got Stephen King goes to Disneyland. Stephen Actually, King goes to Disneyland. Yeah. All right, let me yeah. try to give you a, a rhythm, and maybe you can try to pick up on it, and then. Um, okay. Okay, it's gonna be more of a ballad type of thing. Yeah. There you go. Stephen King went to Disneyland. Try and get cheered up But all around him he just saw kids And his mind, it got messed up He 
couldn't see any smiling faces he couldn't bring any joy just saw e evil pennywise breaking all of their toys stephen king disneyland you would not ride the rides it's a miracle that park even let him inside. He frowned when he stepped on up to get his photo took. And his hand was really clamp when Stephen shook. Did he ran so far away when the author did come near? Donald cried and Pluto yowled and abased himself in fear. Stephen King in Disneyland, what an awful sight. Then on to his holy ones and right and right. that work? Yeah, this used to be something that's good at flickered person, you know. Yeah, I'm sorry about... folks, we'll save this one for the next live show. Stephen King, Disneyland. Stephen King, Disneyland. Stephen King, Disneyland. Oh. <laughs> Doing the segment again We tried so hard We just wanted to entertain But we really fucked up We'll do it again There you go Well, that was interesting Yeah Worth a shot, sorry about that, man No, it was fine you know, now I kind of want to make full versions of that song. There's something there. There's something. There's something there to it. Okay, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna let this go just just yet. There's something there to work with. Okay. <laughs> it has the hook and everything. You know, it's... the song is basically done. Yeah. The song is basically finished. Song is black. Yes. Wow, man, we're running out of time, dude. Yeah, we're uh, we're wrapping it up pretty soon, but um, just want to talk to the people a little bit. People, yeah. Birthday's on uh, Tuesday. Yeah, it's kind of congrats. Uh, so you went very fast. Yeah, but just like last year, we're gonna do them in a forfeit. I'm not gonna have a birthday this year. I didn't have one last year. It's a Ramborgia day, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go to school. Don't go to work. If they give you crap, you tell them why. It's Ramborgia Day. And, um, and they can't argue with you. What can, what can they say? It's part of my belief. My belief mm -hmm. system, right? I believe in Ramborgia Day. Your mic and camera are completely out of control right now. <laughs> Stephen King Disneyland. <laughs> There's something there. Uh. Yeah, like I like that little riff you were doing, and it just works. Yeah, we're we're gonna complete this at some point. I don't. I think that was a complete waste. But uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I mean, um, how do you feel about the birthday? You don't like to tell people about your birthday. Is there a reason no, why or anything? I I don't know. I just feel like part of I, I don't want. You feel like you're being know. kind of like a oh, it's my birthday. You better do things for me. Yeah, of, or like know? or I'll expect people to do stuff for me and. Like, I don't want to just sit there going, yes. Don't you feel bad, though, when, like, you you run to someone and they tell, oh, my birthday was, like, last week and you didn't know, and then you're like, oh, shit. Um, happy birthday to you. Yeah. I feel bad right, a little bit. I don't know. But, I mean, aside from yours, I don't think there's any other birthdays coming up that uh, I have to think about. Well, I know that's not true. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're going to get a beating. <laughs> what did she say? 
coughing. Oh, okay. The truth yelling at you. Yes, there was that also. Wow. Wacky show, man. We gotta go through the uh, let's do the art. Art. We get oh, dude, here. I've been seeing this stuff in the thumbnails yeah, the entire yeah. time. Yeah. What stinks is that it's so slow for me to pick up on it. For this like, mad lag. Yeah, bro. it wasn't. It wasn't usually this this bad. Um, things have changed in the last several weeks that we didn't even know. Was well, it this bad for everyone? Or you're the same as everyone. You're watching the same stream they are. So here's the art for the week, ladies and gentlemen. We thank everyone that made the art for us. Uh, Mutu Sundu. Put this one together, put a few of them together. I think OJ's gone. I'm here. He's in outer space somewhere, somewhere in the background of this. I hear you barely. Um, but some of the art is from last month where we didn't get to use it last month. So uh, we're going to use oh. it today. This is you when you when you were killing Captain Planet. Remember that? Um, you shot uh, Captain Planet? Yeah, but I don't want to kill. This is what happened then. This is, this is also mullet, from... Uh, the perfect mullet. This is also from Mutu. Reservoir Johns. Oh, that should be cool. It's got John Harrington. My jo gosh, am I Linka? I'm Linka. John Wait, Patrick Lowry. That's Linka's pants. Didn't you, didn't you see John Patrick Lowry at uh, Magfest? Yeah, he was really nice. I, I think around, He said Ellen McLean was coming back in a few minutes, so I left, and when I came back, they were both gone. You sound incredibly bad right now. There's, of course, I John Rambo and John St. Right John, who we have not had on the show. Maybe we, perhaps we'll try to uh, outreach to him. That would be cool. We need someone to be like a... Uh, I don't know, what's, what's the word? We need someone to be like, like a guest for us. <laughs> Whatever that is. If somebody wants that job, it can't be yours. We'll see. This is amazing. We were showing this before the show. Mm -hmm. um, this is from Mad Cash Money. Mad cash, money, money, mad cash, yo. And it's, uh, this is actually a true story of how I found OJ. He was oh, no. Position. I put a coat over your shoulders, carried you away, so we're doing a, you will be on my show. That's how I met you. This is wonderful. This is a wonderful choice. piece. John, you like this? Not everyone gets art like this of them, I you know? I sad. You're having a tough time, but I'm helping you. It's what I do to you. Yeah, I got my Dan Hibiki hair out. Too. I think I have boobs. I can't tell though. Is it? Am I supposed to? Was that not your hair? I think. <laughs> Those are your knees. That's your arm. That's like your hair. I think. Wonderful photo. Very, very, very well done. LKG I like the, the patterning on your shirt. That's actually really cool. That's my shirt that I have. LKG <laughs> Gaming. He has wow. something called the Jambos. The Jambos are uh, a, a family. They have these dinners. So, this is like the, uh, oh gosh, the movie where Eddie Murphy played everybody. Yeah, but it's just me. So it wouldn't have to. Like multiple today. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Hey, Steve. That's awesome, man. Would you go? Would you like hey, to be at that dinner? Imagine that. I don't know. I, always, I see peppers. Not a big fan of those. Are you looking at the food? Well, I'm just saying, what, like, what if you were like we're with the group of people? You're asking if I want to go to dinner with seven jambos? Yeah, how would you deal deal with that? I don't think I want to go with seven jambos. This is from Lion King Gamer. Mm -hmm. Christmas stuff we didn't get to use. Uh, it's pretty awesome. It's a flasher. Look at this woman's face on the right. Like she's so appalled by it. Was this real? What did this happen? Or what, what is this? If she's like, that's some good acting right there. Still waiting. I like how I'm smiling. You're shocked, but I'm actually smiling at it. There we go. I'm just like, what? I'm oh, Lenny's hiding her child. I'm just leaving you behind on this now. Yeah, this actually... You're too far behind me. I can't wait for you. Oh, that's Ed. <laughs> He's so far behind me. Here's the three kings with you, me, and Ed. Aw. We were all arrested shortly after this. Well, and before. This entire show was basically... Let's look at still images and, and say things over them. <laughs> Do you realize that? <laughs> That's what this entire show was. How strange. It's a big house, though. Yeah. We, we robbed it after that, though. Three, three kings of Rambogia. There's a couple of years uh, where... This is from... Uh, I think Bushi made this one, I'm pretty sure. Um, would you sit on Ed's lap if he was a Santa? What would you tell him? On whose? Ed. If he was I'd a, trust Ed. You would sit on his lap. You would trust him to sit on his lap. Mm -hmm. See, if you don't trust someone, you won't sit on their lap. 
Maybe. What do you think they'll do to you if you, if you don't trust them while you're on their lap? Whatever they want, which is not something I want to find out about. Would you sit on Ed's lap? What would you tell him, uh, Santa Ed? Ed, I want uh, the Red Morgan to be happy. Wow. Aw, more Santa. Here's a Christmas carol with Ed as Scrooge. They should actually make this. It'd be great. <laughs> I'm the uh, the ghost of Kiss Christmas Future. You are a woman, I think. I'm Christmas present? Yeah. Oh, man, that's what I got all food and stuff. I'm all for that. And uh, here's El Majo de Schnass, which I believe is the Wizard of Oz, uh, Mr. Roundwith. And uh, the Ramborgian Doorman is the lion. DSP is the scarecrow. And I am the Tin Man, because I do not have a heart. Wait, and I do hold need on. OJ is Dorothy. Uh, I mean, I'm flattered that you think I could be Dorothy, but I'm a girl? It seems like okay, the... I can see it, it fits. And here's a great one where Bushi made this. It's actually, my hair. Bushi made the Wizard of Oz as well. Actually, uh, Phil's face fits perfectly. <laughs> yeah. What did the Scarecrow need? What, what was Brains. Oh, uh, okay. Huh. Interesting. Here's myself as Brett Hitman Hart from Bushi of the Stay Ballsy title. I can't wait to see OG's camera right now. Oh, it's not that bad. Your voice is, like, so messed up. It's weird how this happened, huh? We talked about... <laughs> wow. I, I really... My camera's just fine. I don't know what your problem is. All right. Well, my friends, we've been gone for quite some time. It's great to be back. This is kind of a reintroduction to the show. I can't wait to be here week after week and do all sorts of things besides just look at pictures and say things over them. Yes. You know, I hope you enjoyed today's show. I think one of the best things that happened, or the best thing that happened to me while we mm -hmm. were gone, is I'm just going to, we're, we're stopping the show, taking a break, shut everything down, but the Ramborgian people do not quit. They do not stop. Nope. So many messages for people. Like they we, do not stop. Like we already they said. They do not quit. Like we already said, Sturm guy's coming forward. I'm going to make a new template for the show. Surfix. I'm going to rebuild your entire website. Um, Damien with the bracelets. We had... Or bands, whatever they're called. You know, Mr. Uh, I'm, I'm, I might be doing something with Mr. Rice Spirit. We're talking about doing a project. So we got all kinds of things happening. Um, and, and all the messages I got while we were gone, too. Uh, people saying they missed the show. And, uh, you know, um, people, people like, you know, like Bushi. Bushi said, anything you want me to do, I'll do it. Today I had him do a bunch of all that art with the, the jungle. Yeah. You know, so um, it's, it never, it never, it's never, never stops moving. It never shuts down. Ramborgia do not take a break, John. They just keep, nope. keep making good stuff. Mm -hmm. We're real excited about this year. We've got some good things happening. We're making the internet a better place for us. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sounds right. So we'll be back next week. we all kinds of things happening. We'll talk about uh, Shinaz Man Hole Punch next week. I want to do a... Uh, I want to enter the dream world. We're going to do it today. I don't think we were able to do it. I had a dream... That I want to discuss, that I had, I want OJ to maybe give some analysis on. I've been having these weird dreams okay. lately. I told him about it before. It was weird. Okay. And of course, mm -hmm. Mr. Angus Cheng is here next week. And that's gonna be a fun time. We hope to see you there. Please hit up the website, stayballsy.com. Sign up for the forum. We're having a great time in there, man. Everybody's having a great time. It's been open for a couple, uh, maybe five days or something like that. And uh, it's, it's the best community that exists anywhere in the world. There's been no you know, I will have to ban you or I have to do this or whatever, time you out or any of that shit. There's no mods either. I mean, it's like there's pretty much any whatever goes. People behave themselves and treat each other respectfully and nice. And um, that's what we got going on on there. If you want to be part of that, check it out. And I do smell like pennies. You should post that because you would know more than anyone else what you smell like. You have more <laughs> insight than anyone on that. <laughs> so any final words, John? We're back. Well, I'm just so happy to see so many smiling faces again, guys. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope you enjoy the shows to come. Thanks for hanging in there during the hiatus. And you better be prepared for what we're going to dish out. Many people saying they want you to see you. They want to see you on the forum. They want to see you there. In the chat right now, look, they're saying that. I'll be there up. to taunt and annoy Will you. Will be there for, uh, will you go there now for five minutes in the, in the um, chat box, maybe? 
Can we get chat it? box? Can we, can we meet the people in the chat box on the forum right now for a couple minutes? Would that be okay with you? I think that's quite doable, sir. All right, great. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a part of John Rowe Presents. I almost forgot the line because it's been so long. The best of free and optional entertainment. Most people won't get it. But maybe, just maybe, most people should not. <laughs> See you later, my friends. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Everyone. Jamba, are we? 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 Jamba